doing? Red here. Winnie go six. I want to do a video today about whether or not to carry with a round in your chamber. So this is something that uh, you know I've changed over the years. When I was younger, um, my daily carry was a 1911, and I did not carry with one in the chamber. Um, I guess I just didn't trust myself, trust the gun or whatever. Um, but over time, things have changed. I've, I've learned to start to trust my firearms, um, understand their limitations and their expectations. But um, now I do in my daily carry, which is uh, my Glock 17, um, I do carry with a round in the chamber. Uh, I have had one negligent discharge. It was not with this firearm. It was actually with a, uh, a Tokarev. And it was a Tokarev that uh, did not have a, uh, a safety, and it certainly didn't have a drop safety. And uh, what happened was, through my own negligence, I had this pistol, and I had it in a uh, nylon shoulder holster. And anyways, I leaned down to uh, pick something up, and it fell out of the shoulder holster and hit the ground, uh, kind of butt down. And the weapon discharged, and it shot up past my face. almost blew my own face off. Anyways, uh, I've got, I got rid of that pistol. Nothing against the pistol. It's just, you know, I almost died. So didn't particularly feel comfortable around that pistol anymore. Um, I threw that uh, shoulder holster in the trash. Nothing against shoulder holsters, um, especially if they're uh, Kydex or good quality leather or something like that. I do not recommend ever since then those uh, kind of universal nylon holsters. I just don't think they're very safe, um, just from my own experience. But uh, anyways, again, my daily carry now is a Glock 17. It's not technically an actual Glock. Um, it is a uh, Polymer 80 that I milled out myself. I've taken this thing everywhere. Um, I've taken it on uh, through airports. Um, but I do carry with a round in the chamber in this one. Um, just because, you know, back in the day, I used to sit there and think, Oh, well, if something ever happens, you know, I'll have time to rock around in. And uh, as I've gotten older, I've just come to realize that that's not going to be always the case. Um, this is, you know, if I'm going to pull this pistol, it's it's showtime. It's, it's time to start putting rounds down range the, the moment it breaks Kydex. Um, that is another thing I want to talk about is I do highly recommend Kydex holsters. Um, you know, we... Don't necessarily go online and just buy something. Uh, you know, in many instances, you can actually talk to guys locally that make Kydex. Uh, you can kind of get your own setup if you want to, relatively inexpensively, and you can make Kydex holsters for profit. Um, they're fairly inexpensive. Um, I have several different Kydex holsters uh, for different pistols uh, this is my kydex holster for inside the waistband without my uh tack light on it um i have another one for inside the waistband for my tack light um but anyways that's that's a whole nother video but uh point is is in my daily carry i do actually carry with one round in the chamber and that's again just because I'm of the belief that if it's time to break Kydex, it's it's showtime. It's it's time to start sending rounds down range. I don't want to have to sit in there and be manipulating the slides or anything like that with my daily carry. Now, with my other firearms, like for example, this is my Mossberg uh, 835. Um, my ma my uh, two magazine is fully loaded. Um, I have buckshot in here. Um, but I also have bird shot on the butt. Now, I do have two extra rounds of buck in case I need it. But I carry bird shot um, there on the butt just in case, you know, if I see a bird or something like that. Or uh, for whatever reason, I don't want to use buck shot. Um, you know, I can rack the, uh, the pump back, pull the buck out, slam a bird in, rack it forward, and, you know... Uh, and there I go. Instead of, you know, if for whatever reason uh, I want to 
put birdshot in, you know, when I rack it back, it's, it's, you know, trying to eject out. I have to try to catch that. Whereas, you know, if it's trying to load it instead, all I got to do is just tip my shotgun and it falls into my hand. Um, so that's what I do with my shotgun. Uh, this is my AR-10. I also keep it with a loaded mag, um, but nothing in the chamber. And that's just because, you know, I'm not going to carry this in condition one, which is with a loaded uh, chamber. Um, just kind of around in my day to day. This is my truck gun. This, you know, rattles around with me at all times, basically, as long as I'm driving around in my pickup. But, uh, you know, chances are if something really pops off, um, I'm going to go for my pistol first. Um, but the biggest reason is the reason why I don't carry with around in the chamber in my rifles, my shotguns, whatever, is if I want to change ammunition types. You know, just an example of this is uh, this is my AR-10. It's a 308, and I have expensive defense rounds in it right now. Um, but if I'm just kind of driving around and, you know, I see a hog, for example, I don't want to shoot my $3 defense round into a hog. When I have a magazine of FMJ, uh, especially if I, if I have a magazine of steel case FMJ, you know, that still costs me, you know, 80 cents a round for 308, I can just throw that in, okay? And I don't want to have to sit there and worry about... Uh, you know, racking my rifle, and then after the fact, trying to find my expensive three or four dollar uh, defense round on the floorboards of my truck or, or on the ground or whatever. Um, I'd rather just rack it and just know that there's not an expensive round laying around somewhere. Um, but anyways, that's kind of my philosophy for uh, whether or not I carry with a round in the chamber or I don't. Just kind of a uh, quick summary of this <laughs> of this little rant. Um, in my daily carry, I do carry with a uh, round in the chamber. Um, and this is, again, my, my daily carry. I carry it every single day inside the waistband. Um, I, I'm not of the philosophy of open carrying unless I'm, you know, out hunting or at a range or at a buddy's house or something like that. Um, when I'm out in public, I do carry it inside the waistband. Um, but, uh, you know, to each their own, feel free to drop it in the comments what you do if you carry it inside the waistband or if you open carry or if you don't carry with a uh, round in the chamber or vice versa let me know talk about it anyways if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe share with your friends drop a comment in the comments feel free to talk smack helps me in the algorithm either way y'all have a nice day thanks